extended are the shocking details of a murder-for-hire plot allegedly orchestrated by Leota Bradshaw, one of the baby mothers of veteran politician Philip Paulwell, to murder his, Paulwell's, 10-month-old daughter. <laughs>
The Crown further alleges that Patterson and her daughter were forcibly taken to an area in East Kingston and murdered by these said men who were armed with a firearm, the DPP stated. Their bodies were burnt and left there for weeks. Last Friday, the police went to the area where burnt remains, dried bones and what appeared to be blood, were discovered. A week later, the police confirmed that the remains belonged to Patterson and her child. Voluntary bills of indictment were proffered in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston earlier last week in respect of Brown and Miller, who are both scheduled to return to court later this month when their matters are to be mentioned. Bradshaw and Balfour appeared in the Home Circuit Court on Friday by way of a voluntary bill of indictment, which bypassed the case's progression in the parish court, with it being brought directly to the High Court. The cousins are scheduled to return to the Home Circuit Court on December 1, 2023, when their matters are to be mentioned. Paul Well, for his part, only commented on the development on Saturday, with expressions of personal pain and anguish and a resolve to see that justice is served in relation to the horrific overall development. On September 15, he posted that the disappearance of his daughter and her mother was, by far the most difficult thing, he has ever had to navigate. Then on September 26, Paulwell told Parliament that the investigators were seemingly nowhere closer to locating his then-missing daughter and her mother, but he thanked the police for their work up to then. He also thanked Jamaicans for the prayers he had been receiving. Paulwell had been noticeably absent from some parliamentary sittings since then. Then on Friday, October 6, the police announced that Bradshaw was a main suspect in the disappearance of the parent and child, and they had overwhelming evidence against her. Three men, who were then unidentified, were also reportedly in custody. Later that day, media reports surfaced that human skeletal remains and other burnt remains were found in a section of East Kingston, but the police remained mum on whether the remains were of the missing pair until a week later. Following the latest developments in the case on Friday, and more details into the savage killings, the Opposition People's and National Party, PNP, which had largely remained silent on the matter, issued a statement on Friday afternoon in which it condemned the killing of Paul Wells' daughter and her mother. The party said it had reserved its formal statement until charges had been brought against the accused perpetrators and there was confirmation of the fate of Patterson and Saria. The party extended condolences to Paul Well, Patterson's family, and all those who have been emotionally affected by the tragedy. Meanwhile, Jamaicans expressed shock relative to the heinous crime especially the killing of a baby who did no wrong, and called for urgent justice. This is a movie. Heartless, heartless killing of a young mom and child by another young mom, said a man on Facebook. Wickedness. I hope they, all, get life sentences, a woman suggested. Shared another, a baby in a. How can you be so cold to kill a baby? Added a man. Some very good investigative work by Mr. Bailey and his team. Looks like they really put the pieces together on this one. Great job. Shared a woman, the baby girl didn't deserve this at all, because she did not do anything to be massacred in this way. Couldn't they have left her alone, 